Well, hello everybody. It's Lisa Freeman here from stampingwithlisa.com and happy Saturday. It's awesome. It's the weekend. I'm so excited because I'm not working this weekend. Yay. Oh, I didn't think this week would ever end. <laughs> it's just been one of those weeks. <laughs> and yesterday was a crazy day. I'll tell you about that in a few minutes, but I wanted to pop on real quick and show you this video um, or show you this card. Um, I did this in my class last week and everybody loved it. And it's using that distressed foil technique that I showed on a couple other cards. I used the uh, Magnolia um, embossing folder and the Evergreen Trees. Um, that was this one. I, I don't have the card here with me, but that was with that card. Um, and so now I tried it with the uh, Seashells embossing folder. So I used the Seascape stamp set and the um what are they called sea life dies so that is on page 12 in the big catalog so it's right here and when i first saw the stamp set it didn't really do much for me and i was like yeah i'll just wait and get that later but then i saw the dies that went with it and i was like oh my gosh i love those dies i don't know if you're on my screen because i haven't turned it we're using the seahorse today and this angelfish is up. I don't know if I'm still live because my phone just went out. Did anybody see it go out or is it just me? I just looked at my phone and it was black. <laughs> Let me know if you're if I'm still live or if it just shut off. Ah. I talked to Cox again yesterday and they tried to give me some pointers, so hopefully. I have to order some cable to hook it up directly to my computer, so hopefully that'll help. But let me see if anybody's watching. And, okay, we've got a few people on here. Hey, Tracy, hey, Sharon. Am I still on live, hopefully? And it's not going out? Okay, great. Perfect, perfect, okay. I don't know why this paper's crooked again, because I'm looking at it on my camera and it's straight. Let me see. We'll just lift up that side. All right, so this is the card, and you can see this is the gold foil right here, and I sanded it down so it's kind of distressed looking. Hopefully you can see that with, with the glare on there. It's kind of hard to see, I know. But I sanded it down, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, this is the embossing folder that I used with it, the seashell one, and this is one of my favorites. I know I should, I need to come up with a different word besides favorite. <laughs> Because you guys are joking me now. <laughs> Everything's my favorite. <laughs> Which is not true. Because I'll tell you if it's not my favorite. <laughs> but it just happens that most of the things I show are my favorites. Or else I wouldn't be showing them. So we're using the seashell embossing folder. These are the dies. Which are so cute. So we're using the seahorse one. I love this angelfish. And we're going to be using the coral one too. So these two we're using. And I, I mean, even if you don't like the, the stamp set, definitely get the dies because they are beautiful. And this is the stamp set. We are using a couple of the um, stamps from this one too. So let's get started. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I actually had a crazy day yesterday and I'll tell you about that in just a sec. Hey, Lily. Um, okay, so this is our base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, just Jade. This is our inside of the card, five and a quarter by four, which I forgot to show you. That's the inside. So we're gonna be stamping inside. And um, five and a quarter by four is the gold foil. Three and a half by two and three quarters white. Two by four and a quarter just jade. One and three quarters by four white. This has a lot of pieces. Two by four um, designer paper. This is Expressions and in Ink, which is not available right now. It's actually not order, orderable but it should be back i hope in a couple weeks and then the little word piece is one and three quarters by three quarters um, and that's white so take a screenshot of that real quick and then we'll get started and let me see if i can fix, fix this paper because it is crooked still <laughs> i don't know why because it looks straight on my camera all right so hopefully you got that We'll take off all these pieces. So we're actually gonna start with the inside of the card because that's the easiest thing to do. So that's the big white piece. 
and we'll just set all this aside for a minute. So we're going to stamp this first and we're using um, Just Jade and Pool Party. I'm going to start with the Just Jade and we're using the, um, now I lost it, oh here we go, the Seaweed, that's in the stamp set. So we're stamping this in Just Jade and just stamp it right here and then lift it up and stamp it again a couple more times, kind of lower. So it gives you that look. And I just stuck my finger right in the ink. Let me see, let me get my scrap paper and wipe off my finger. <laughs> ah, what a day, what a day. I did not get out of bed till 11 o'clock today. So like half my day was just laying in bed, which is a good thing unless you have a whole list of things you need to be doing. So I'm running way behind today. All right, so next we need our fish. And the fish is gonna go right here next to this. And that's in Pool Party, which I don't know, I should probably stamp that off. My Pool Party looks almost like my Jade, which is funny. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little bit of bubbles on here. So just stamp that real light. And you want some bubbles coming up from him, like that. Whoops. So just a few. All right, so that's our inside. So we are gonna go ahead and glue that down on the inside. I'm gonna tell you my story. So yesterday I had to work all day long and everything was fine. And then after work, I was starving. So I ran across the street to Hardee's, which uh, in our area it's called Hardee's. On some areas it's called Carl's Jr. It's just a fast food place that has burgers and stuff. And they have these new um, bacon ranch uh, french fries. And <laughs> I, I was starving, so I said, well, I'm just gonna eat them in the car on the way home. So I start eating them and they're a mess. So I've got the napkins and everything. And I had already washed my hands in the car with, I have wipes and everything in the car. So I didn't have germy hands. But I'm eating them as I'm driving home, which is only maybe 10 minutes from my house. So by the time I got home, I had finished them. And then I get out of the car and my arm is like on fire. And I'm thinking, what is going on? My arm is just like burning. And I look at it and it's super red. And then I look at my other arm and it's super red. And I'm going, oh no, I was having an allergic reaction. And I don't know what it was from, but I'm thinking it was something that was in the fries or the bacon or some some kind of preservative maybe I don't know I never have had allergic reaction to anything like that before but um, oh let me show you this real quick so this is with the folder so I put it in the folder like this and it comes out like that so already embossed because I don't like to bring my whole big um, die cutting machine in here so we're gonna distress this real quick and I found out that a lot of people hate the sound of this when you're using like a, uh, I just use a little nail file thing. We used to sell these with stamp, from Stampin' Up, but they don't carry them anymore. So just get one. You can get at Walmart or the Dollar Tree or something. They're a dollar. Um, here, I'll hold my microphone so you don't have to um, listen to it. Or I'll, oh yeah, I'll just take it off real quick. So it won't be so loud. Hold on. Hopefully that didn't uh, cause anybody too much pain. Some people said it sounded like fingernails on a chalkboard. And then you have a lot of dust from the gold coming off. So wipe that off. So now it looks like this. So originally it's real shiny and then I kind of distress it and then it takes off that um, gold part. So that's gonna go on here. Let me put my card in front of me so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, I put, gotta put the ribbon on too. All right, Frank, I forgot to tell you about the ribbon. So the ribbon, you're just gonna cut a piece just about an inch longer than each side. So if this is four, then the ribbon would be about six inches. And you're gonna tape it to the back. And I'm just gonna do it down here about two thirds of the way down. And put that on with some tape. And then we're gonna glue that down with the green glue. 
So I go run in the house and look at myself in the mirror. My whole face, my neck, everything is covered in hives. And I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh my God. You know, I work at an urgent care center and I just get home from work. I'm thinking, dang, this couldn't have happened while I was at work <laughs> instead of when I get home because now I've got to turn around and go back. So I took some Benadryl, um, you know, right away, hoping that that would uh, help. And it did help a little bit. I mean, it, it kind of calmed down just a little bit, but I was really worried that maybe my throat would start closing up or something like that because this has never happened to me before. So I changed clothes, got in the car, went back to work, which again, is only like 10 minutes from me. So next thing we're gonna do is sponge this piece. And this is for our coral. So I'm gonna get my colors back out again. So we've got Pool Party and Just Jade. Now you're thinking to yourself, man, only these things happen to Lisa. <laughs> she leads an interesting life. <laughs> so I walk back into work and they're all just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Why are you back? And I said, look at me, can't you tell? <laughs> so, I, you know, I kind of get rushed back because, you know, with allergic reactions, they're always worried that, you know, your throat is gonna start closing up or something, you can't breathe or your tongue will swell or whatever. But I wasn't having any trouble breathing, luckily. Um, all right, so we put Pool Party on that side. Then on the other side, we're gonna put the Just Jade. And I'm using my favorite blender pens, my blender brushes. And these are in stock right now. I just ordered some. Actually, yeah, they're low in, they were low inventory the other day, but um, I think, I'm pretty sure they're still in stock or not back ordered. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with the um, Just Jade. So, they were gonna give me a shot of Benadryl, but since I was by myself, they couldn't because they can't let you drive because it makes you sleepy. And I said, well, I already took Benadryl. So they gave me like a huge dose of steroids there and, uh, you know, watched me for a little bit and, you know, I was okay. But I was itching so bad because by this time I had gone down my legs and my feet and everything, like my whole entire body was covered in hives now. And it was, it was bad. <laughs> my arms weren't itching anymore, but my legs and my feet were really bad. So they sent me home and they're like, okay, so take some more Benadryl before bed. And then they gave me a whole pack of steroids to take. So I woke up this morning and I'm good. I'm okay. Totally fine. Everything's good. The rash is gone. But now I'm thinking to myself, what the heck caused it? Because I've never ever been allergic to any kind of food, any kind of medicine. The only thing I'm allergic to is cats and cigarette smoke. And those two things make me like really have allergic reactions, but that's it. So, and dust, you know, regular things, pollen. But now I'm kind of paranoid, you know, if it was that food, you know, did they stick something in there that just had some kind of reaction with me? So I'm gonna have to carry Benadryl around in my purse now, I think. <laughs> but luckily I work at an urgent care center, so I'm there almost every day, so. But my friend had that happen a few weeks ago, the same exact thing, and she, it took her like a month to finally figure out what was wrong and what was causing it. And it turned out to be something that she ate every single day and had eaten for every day for like 10 years, and all of a sudden she became allergic to it. So I'm hoping that I'm not allergic to french fries or something, I don't know. <laughs> Hers turned out to be wheat. She was allergic to wheat. All right, we're gonna stamp the thank you on here right to the left like that and that's just jade and then we are done with stamping so then what I did was I took our two dies and ran it through the die cutting machine so I put the coral on here like this so that the darker part is on the bottom and I put a little, little piece of washi tape to hold it down because I ran it back back and forth so when you run it through then you come out with this and then you pop it out and you get that um, ombre look, which is so cool. And these pieces do lift up, they don't pop out, but you can, if you pop it over, just push them. And if you want to give a little dimension, you can kind of pop them up. But I, I choose not to do that because if you mail the card or send it to somebody, you gotta put an envelope. So I just left it flat like that. And then I ran this, and I see how this has the gold, the gold leafing through there. So kind of position your um, seahorse where the gold will show up on there 
and then when I popped it out through there it came out like this and this one does not pop out like the other one so you actually do have to snip it with your scissors you can leave it in here and if you leave it in here look what you could do you could layer that on a piece of gold and look how pretty that is so if I didn't have all the gold here I would do that but I've got so much gold in the background that would look funny but if you had a, just a um, say a green piece of paper as your background this would look beautiful on top so I might do another card like that and then it'll stay in there so you don't have to glue it down so it's still connected but we're gonna cut it out so there's only four little pieces here you just have to snip it right there right there so don't think your die is broken because it's supposed to be like that right there and then on his back there's one right here and this one I just snipped off that little piece and then there's also one right here so four pieces you have to snip and then you'll have that outline and you could save that and sponge inside of there too if you want it to oh Terry says if there's MSG in the seasoning that could be it I've carried Benadryl <laughs> Oh, I have serious allergies to sulfur, chlorine, and MSG. Well, I'm thinking maybe it was MSG. That was my thought, too. I know I'm not allergic to chlorine because I had a swimming pool from the time I was little until last year. But sulfur is another thing that's in medicine sometimes. That could be it also. But, um, yeah, if it's the MSG, then I'm really in trouble because I eat Chinese food and everything. But the doctor said you can start an allergy, you can eat something every day of your life, and then all of a sudden one day become allergic to it. Which I said, well, that's just great. <laughs> so, so now I just have to be really careful. So I don't know. Maybe my body's changing at 55. And they say you have different things that happen every seven years, but 55 is not a multiple of seven. So I don't know. All right, these two pieces get glued together. So just be careful, but I am going to carry that Benadryl with me everywhere now. Because that did definitely help. If I hadn't had some Benadryl, I would have been in trouble. Because it immediately, like, started getting better. Alright, so this piece just goes straight down on there. And then I'm going to put that on the back with dimensionals. But my friend, she's funny too. I mean, she had the exact same thing. And hers turned out to be this, um, she ate these like sandwich thin things that were kind of wheat. She ate them every single day for like, since they've come out years ago. Never had a problem with them. And she kept changing every day. She kept trying to narrow it down to different things. And it was that that kept making her break out. So she had to stop eating them. All right. So this goes right on top. But I guess, hmm. You know, it'd be good if I was allergic to ice cream. <laughs> then maybe I'd lose some weight <laughs> or chocolate. I shouldn't say that because then if that happened, I'd be really upset. <laughs> I could give up French fries though. That was the first time I'd eaten French fries in a long time too because I had kind of been on a diet. All right, so that's going to go down. Let's see. Let's put it about right here. And. All right, so then we're gonna put this down and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here on his belly and then a teeny bit on his head and a little bit on his um, thin area. But I'm gonna leave the tail hanging loose because I wanna put the coral um, underneath there. So I don't want to have it glued down yet. All right, so just hold that for a second. And then we want to put this coral underneath here. So we're going to have like three pieces on the left and two pieces on the right. And kind of put it, well, this was easier when I did it earlier. Okay. There we go. All right. So you've got your coral on here. And you're just going to tape that down with some glue dots. So let me find my glue dots. So we're going to take some glue dots and put them right underneath the coral and hold, oops, and hold it down and didn't come off my scissors. So tonight I'm really excited because I'm going to melting pot. Have any of y'all ever been to melting pot? It's like one of my favorite restaurants and I haven't been there in a long time. 
because it's very expensive. It's like $45 a person just for the food part. And then if you get drinks with it, then it's really expensive. But it's one of my friend's birthdays. So that's where she wanted to go. So a few of us are going. And it's really, really fun with a group of people. But it's like, a, it's a fondue thing if you've never been there. And it's so good. I can't wait. So we're going there early. So I got to do the video, get, get everything uploaded, take a shower, get ready and go. So I'll have a story to tell you about that. Hopefully that'll be a fun night. And then I'm cutting just a little banner on my thank you. And then we're gonna just stick that on with one dimensional. And if you saw my video the other day, I did it like this also. So I put just one dimensional on the tail of the, where the banner is, and then tape the rest of it because it's gonna be hanging off the um, main image. So we're gonna put it like, kind of tucked under here just a little bit. So my dimensional's right here, because this has popped up, this piece right here. So it'll be flat on this and then dimensional popping up that. So then we have to stick some bling on there. So I've got my gold, uh, gilded gems. These are all gold and they come in um, small, medium, large and you get 90 of them. So there's 30 of each size on there. So I'm gonna put a big one right on his eyeball and that'll make his eye pop. And then I'm gonna put like a medium one. Let's see, where could we put a medium? No, actually I think I'm gonna use the little ones. Let's put a little one right here and another one down here. And there you go. So what do you guys think of that? Isn't it beautiful? I wish you could see it in real life because it's so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. So if you have not tried this technique, um, make sure you try it. It's really fun. All you do is emboss anything you want in the gold. Oh, I meant to show you some other samples I've got too. So I showed you the tree one with that, that I, oh, here it is. This is a card. This is the card I did the other day. And also the winner of this was Carol Ham. And I have not heard from you, Carol. So if you won this card, make sure you send me your address. But that was that one. And then I did some with the Parisian Flourish, which I'm gonna do a card with that soon. I think that came out really pretty with the copper and the gold. And there's the, the trees in the copper. Here's the dandelion one. And here's the shells in the copper too. So it really, really makes it um, pretty when you do that. I love this dandelion one. I'm gonna use that one too. All right, so don't forget, if you wanna order anything from today or anything else that you've seen, um, you can go to stampingwithlisa.com anytime and order. And um, the host code for this month is this one right here, W9NQYCM7. Make sure you see my name on there, Lisa Freeman. I give lots of gifts with the orders, depending on what how much your order is. Anything from a card to four cards to four cards and some embellishments and sometimes designer paper. So um, it's different all the time. But I would love to have you as a customer or a downline. If you want to sign up, that'd be great if your list is over $99. And thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a rest, great rest of your weekend. And I will see you back on Tuesday for my next video. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.